Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Don't fix your car in the parking lot at the auto parts store. There's a van over there, got the hood open and the wheel off. Probably got the dang control arm off. This guy here, I guess trying to do an oil change, spill oil all in the parking lot, running down. The Come on, man. If you're going to DIY, do it at home or somebody else's place. Don't do it at the auto parts store. Good Lord. As you can see, I am still home. Got to take care of some stuff here. First thing I'm going to do is change the oil in this car. Try to secure this grill and probably change the seat skins on it. I got seat skins for it from Swedish Carpots. Swedish Carpots. This is the 95T5R I got from Shad Town. I'm going to go ahead and start a log on it. I bought a few journals, so I'm going to use those to document the progress on the restoration on this thing. Restoration, maintenance, repair, stuff like that. So here's the notebook I'm going to start using to document everything. I haven't really put a name on this car yet, so let's just start adding some notes. Oil levels are a little on the high side. I tried to check the mileage, couldn't do it. This instrument cluster is losing so much power now that I can't even check the mileage in the cluster. I see that this passenger side wiper is lower than it should be. So I'm going to try to adjust or tighten that up so it could quit falling below this window trim because those wiper blades are new. I replaced those once. I'm going to go ahead and change the oil because I don't think I've done that on this vehicle yet. Looks like the ground wire is not secured to the fan. Got the oil and filter replaced. The mileage is not working on the gosh dang cluster, so I really don't know what to do about that. However, I'm going to replace it again in six months, and if it starts working at 255, we're at 247.6 right now. 7,500 miles on full synthetic should be good. The oil drain bolt was clear, didn't have no sludge in it. I think it was replaced by the previous owner. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next task. I got these stickers I got from my buddy John. I'm going to replace the seat skins on this seat with the ones I bought from Swedish Car Parts. So let me go ahead and remove this seat. Okay, I'm going to set this seat up here where I could reach it and take that skin off. There's a video linked in the comments to do that. So I got the lower seat skin off. Got some concern here with this heating pad. I'm going to get these hog rings out of the way. Being careful not to pull the securing rings out of the pad of the seat. And now I'm going to go grab the new seat skin and I don't think the new seat skin has these rods in it. These three rods. Four, five, six rods. So let me go swap these over seven rods to the new pad and get these in. Made in Belgium. E-L somebody here. What's that say? E-C-A. Made it. That's their patent number on it, I guess. Let me go grab a new skin. Look at the difference of these seed skins. The new versus old. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That looks beautiful. Let's get this cracking. Next, I put the seat cushion in place pretty much and lined up where all these hog ring go hog rings go and I 
lined them up and I pierced this knife through this material that holds these bars down one two three four five on each side two on the two center pieces now I'm gonna grab these zip ties I bought from Home Depot and zip tie this thing in zip ties have this strength rating 50 pounds 22.6 kilogram whatever these are I think the best ones I could find now you might be able to get some that have metal in them that are stronger but this seems to be a standard but you want to make sure they're good quality ones not ones that when they bend they break while you're trying to zip them so let me go ahead and zip these in all right I have zip ties started three on this side three on this side two in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those work my way out so I'm gonna tighten all six of these then I'll just have four more to tighten on the cushion then I'll get the edges I tighten those first eight I would recommend that you thread the zip tie so that you're pulling the zip tie here so thread it under here and then up over here and then zip it down there and then cut it let me go ahead and get these next four in place I recommend you put them in like this pull it through this way use it needle nose pliers then pull it up through here and then zip it on that side so let me go ahead and set up these next four so I can zip them and cut them when you cut the zip tie tip you want to try to roll the zip tie so that it points down when you tuck it and we're going down so let me keep going I got two more to go on these ends, then I could get the side. Put the seat around here, and I happen to look at this wire harness, and I see that one of the wires is broke on the temp sensor. So this heated seat's not working. I need to fix that. But let me go ahead and finish putting this seat skin on. This is what it looks like so far up top. I got to stretch it around the sides and down the back bunched a little bit right here but let me see if I could get my cushion to sit right in the front of it as you can see across the front of this seat you got one two three four five six you just pierce a hole through the vinyl under that and then tie it into the brackets here so let me go ahead and do that using this pen knife to pierce that leather to put the slots in it to put the zip ties in there so I got a hole here I'm just going to take this knife and slide it through there like that and then that's where my zip tie is going to go see it that's how I got the zip tie you want to cut the end of it off as close as you can so that it doesn't have any edges on it so nobody grabs it cut your finger on the edge so slice that off as best you can let me go ahead and finish wrapping the sides and then get the back you run that zip tie through there make sure you get it behind the bar that bar is what you need to be zip tied don't miss the bar so you can see the bar in there If you don't have a pen knife, you can also slam a screwdriver. Push a screwdriver through there to make your hole. Now I got this side. I already got the back and I pulled that wing strap under here and zip tied it to this spring in the corner. Now I got this side pulled down and zip tied. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. If you flip this thing over, make sure you got this trigger in here to stop this thing from deploying this airbag in the seat let's flip it over get those 
on the other side and that'll be it. Use my box cutter to cut those off flat so they don't have no snags on them or nobody can get cut by those zip ties. Well folks, that's the back, the old back, and that is the new bottom. Looks like my cushion isn't as full here as it probably should be. So I got a little bit of softness here, a little bit of air in there. Uh, my buddy Dan, man, he tried to tell me to put some more padding in here, but maybe that padding's flat. Other than that, that's what it looks like. Ready to be broken in. A whole lot better than this busted one down here that was torn open. Mm, mm, mm. Looks like this has a little more texture on it than the original may have had, but heck, I don't know. That's uh, 28 years later. Well, sadly, it took me two hours and 10 minutes to do the bottom. I don't think the back will take that long, but getting dark, I don't think I'm going to do it out here if I'm going to do it at all today. So let me put up my mess here. I might take this inside and do the back inside. Looks like I used 32 zip ties to do the bottom. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.